Lenga, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, that you guard us against familiarity with your presence. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, la me kasu kamandele bosaya, jita kandele kesu bahata, randele bebe kusede hetaya, jima mama mandele bebe besukaya, rakamando lo bo 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 suta. Rikata mahandele besita ila makandele be kosateya in the name of Jesus Christ we pray for the God that you going to awaken a fresh reverence for your presence likata ya katosha taya ripadela makasuka this will be church unusual la makose de beheya this will be a black service unusual for we are expectant of a new dimension of your holiness la makasuka deheya we want you to reveal yourself le makadu ya la bashaka show yourself for the god as the one we've never experienced before li mazukete ya bahanta rikedeli mandala husa li mendeli kasaya ndele behoza jekemela kazuka to the seek for the god Reveal yourself as they are healer. Limandele kasuka to the ones that are experiencing lack. Reveal yourself as they are provisioner. Limadu sake de beheya la basa. Redeli yana suke de ya. Randule be kosaya. May each of us walk out of this place having experienced a different side of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the God. Whatever reason may have brought us to this place, it changes now. For now, the only thing that is on our mind uh, is to experience your presence. Uh, is to experience your presence. La manu kaze kebeya, ila mano lo hosi kidiya, jila mama mama ndele kesuka, ilando sadebe taya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the second prayer point is the prayer of thanksgiving. God has been faithful over the past six years. Over the past six years, God has been good. There's so many testimonies that we have received. This, uh, yeah, this is one of the fastest growing church in Johannesburg or even in South Africa. And it's not just growing numerically, but also the people that are part of this church are advancing in all spheres. People are getting married, people are getting jobs, people are buying houses, people are buying cars. We need to give God some praise for this. I want us to thank God for the past six years that he's been faithful. Muruti mentioned that like sometimes when you feel like you don't have the strength to press on, you need to remind yourself of how good God has been in your life. And I want us to just take a moment and say, Lord, we thank you. Ebenezer, thus far you had led us for the God. Limandele bokosa maya, zingani ibongo zetu nkulunkula na mantra onke, gukulo senzele kona, ekameni liga chesu kristu wa senazareta. We pray in Kulukulu Namanta, Onke, Sipagamisuk Bonga, Nogok to me, Sepsugo, Situpage Megakulu, Unamanta Gakulu, Age Konjengawe, Age Kofananawe, Uyam Londolo Zumunto, Umkin and Kulukulu Namanta, Onke, Katameli Sintelayake. We give you honor and praise. We thank you for the faithful six years, Brother God. And we pray in Kulukulu Namanta, Onke. That you are empowering us, uh, even if we step into the next chapter, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, you are moving us uh, to another dimension, uh, from glory to glory, from glory to glory, more testimonies are coming, uh, in the name of Jesus. Ola mandele be kusaya, jina mandele be bebe ziya, rako mandele kesaya, ri mandele be bebe be ziya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 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 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for sustaining us. Get come and get chase in the Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the last prayer point, as I give to the worship team, I want us to pray for Vision 5000. The core reason in which Christ has died, that many may come to the knowledge of the truth. I want us to pray for soul winning. I want us to pray for more souls to come to the knowledge of the truth. All of this is useless if we're not going to transform people's lives, if we're not going to take this fire and spread it all over the world, that more people may come to the knowledge of the truth. May we pray that God empowers us to testify about his goodness, to testify about the great work he has done in our lives uh, and tell everyone around us that he can also do it for you. What he has done for me, he can also do it for you. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, uh, your word said for this is the will of God that every man may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth Father God we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you are empowering us unto so winning you are empowering us to be great witnesses Empower each of us uh, to be faithful stewards of this word. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, let us take it everywhere, Father God, uh, where you have placed us, Father God. Uh, may we be faithful witnesses. Uh, Lama Kosama and Elebekaya, Ilama and Elosa, Shandelebebebe Sika, Ilama Mama Mama Sukadeya, Randelebebebebe Sika. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We appreciate you, God. We are worthy to be praised, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't sound excited. You don't sound excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. Welcome to Eternal Glory Church. Good evening, church. Good evening, church. Good evening. So can I, just before we start, can I please ask all young lions of the house just to please vacate their chairs and just go to the stairs up there so that we can create more space. And also other young lions that came here via the taxis from the university. Please also just vacate your chairs and go up there. May the Lord bless you. Amen. That's our VIP right there, Bangwell. It's VIP. Amen. Come on, let's clap hands for our young lions. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's sustain it. Let's sustain it. up there with the spirit of servanthood amen we recommend this gentleman up here amen so this is what i'm going to ask of you right if there's a chair that's vacant in front of you or next to you uh please just move to the next one amen just to create more capacity let's just do that quickly i know some of us have chairs that you know we like this is where the lord meets me 
the Lord is everywhere. I can guarantee you in this building, he's in your heart, he's in the city you're about to move into. He's just awesome like that. Amen. Who's excited to have church today? Oh man, it's going to be great. And one of the requests we're going to just uh, have is this. Let's stay until, uh, I know we came for the beloved dog, amen. But let's stay till the end. We are well-mannered, good-mannered people. Praise the Lord. So when we are done, right, uh, we, we will greet each other on social media. Send you a message, look, man, I saw you wearing such and such a top. So that's what we're going to do. We are currently packed in, so we cannot afford to, like, fellowship deeply. Amen. So as soon as the service is done, just quickly vamos. Praise the Lord. We love you with the love of the Lord. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. That's Murtiak Tand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give me chai. Give me e. Give me ash. Give me you. Another. Hallelujah. Can I see some young people who are ready to praise the Lord this evening? Hallelujah. Can we shout the name Jesus? Jesus. Can we shout the name Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hey.
give Jesus a shout of praise. I tell you what, we can take our seats. We're just going to quickly take up our tithe and offerings. Praise the Lord. Can we greet those in the VIP section up there? We're busy serving them caviar at the top. Amen. That's the real VIP. What a blessing. Who's excited to be in the house of the Lord? Praise the Lord. Uh, is that Pastor Shange there at the door? Yeah, please just sort him out. Any pastors in the house? Wow, we've got pastors in the house. Do we have any space here? We do, right? Okay, Pastor Shange, just quickly rush to the front and any other pastors, please make your way. Praise the Lord. Let's just appreciate them, Bangoy. Let's appreciate them. Praise the Lord. What a blessing. Please do come to the front if you... Uh, a minister, any member of the fivefold ministry. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're just going to briefly take up an offering. Um, our text, we found in Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Let's quickly project Luke chapter 6, verse 38. I'm loving the heat in this place. Amen. It's, uh, it's, uh, the Lord is sure telling us that we need to get our stuff right with Jesus. Amen. Luke 6, verse 38. Given it will be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. May God bless uh, the reading of his word. Amen. Um. I just want to exhort us before we, we take up an offering. Uh, we are currently in a building or a buying project, whatever you want to call it. And um, today we took up a special offering. We just want to encourage uh, the rest of us who never had the privilege of giving earlier on. Um, the Bible says, given shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. And running over shall man give unto your bosom. Um, of course, I wouldn't want to try and water down uh, biblical principles such as the tithe, which I am, I am of the view that they are obligatory. But I think over and above that, we should never lose sight of the fact that giving to God is a great opportunity. And um, whenever you are presented with an opportunity to give to his work, to give towards the advancement of the gospel, um, we are given an opportunity to do so. And I think it's important in that in as much as giving is one of the spiritual disciplines, it, it has to go beyond that and become a spiritual delight. Can somebody say delight? And the Bible says that delight yourselves in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Some things have to transcend beyond discipline and go to the place of being a delight a delight so right now we we're going to allow for you to exercise what scripture calls hilarious giving or cheerful giving rather the bible says god loves a cheerful giver who wants to be the type of person that god says i love this type of giver yeah i'm seeing some hands in this place those are a cheerful people those are people who don't complain when it's time for offering time who understand that giving to God is a great opportunity. Praise the Lord. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pray now, and then we're going to display our banking details, and there will also be a circulation of baskets, and afterwards we'll introduce our guest for today. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ for each and every single person who's going to give. We pray that you multiply the seed sown in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and the Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord.
for everyone who has sowed a seed and for those who have tithed. We, play, we pray, oh God, that you multiply the seed sown. Father, we are ever grateful for what you are doing in the life of this church. And Father, we give you all the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. And everybody shout amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, Banguele, today we turned six years old. Can we give Jesus a shout of praise? Come on, you can do better than that. Six years old. Six years of God's goodness. And of course, you know we have a strong turn up culture in this place. Right? We, we turn up and we don't, we don't try and minimize what God has done in our lives and in the life of this ministry. And when the opportunity came for us to say we will celebrate this in style, we're like, you know what, let's, let's, go, let's go wild, right? Let's go for, I don't know, man, how to even explain this. Uh, but we are, we are so blessed today uh, to, to have in our midst a great worshiper. Uh, I mean, I could, really, I could really go on and on about how awesome he is and all the things that he has accomplished. But one thing that I just sense in his ministry is just uh, a deep love for God and for scripture. Uh, who's a Dr. Tumi fan in this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who came here expectant? Yeah, man. So we want to we wanna thank God in style. We want to just give God all the glory for what he has done. So uh, I won't even go through his many accolades and what he has done. Who was at Fort Trekker Monument? That was so cool. Doc, I don't think you saw me. I was at the back. You see that VIP section that you created at the back? That's where I was representing, amen, the pastoral section. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you please stand up on our feet and welcome God's servant, Dr. Dume!
Greet and saints in the name of Jesus, amen. It's so good. To, I've been wanting to come here for the longest of time. <laughs> so so, the, so I, I've seen a couple of clips and I thought, this, this looks like a good church. This, this feels like a good place to be. And, and, and you can sense the love for God in here and the energy and the love and the singing is so good. So I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Muruti. It's such, a, such an honor. Uh, I'm a bit conflicted because I've got so many songs in my head. And I'm, I know you gave me a list, right? <laughs> so I'll do the songs that you gave me. But I just want everybody just to, if you could just for a second, like, just think through what the Lord has done for you, how good he has been how faithful he has been you know it's it's we're in the third month of the year you celebrate in six years today and it's just been the goodness of the lord that has made all this possible so he deserves all the praise and so i i just want you to just forget about everything else and just make it about him I'm, I'm happy to be here. It's an honor, but it's not about me. It's about Jesus. And I think we gather for him and we don't gather for people. Um, we don't even gather for each other, but we gather for him. And I, I know that in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. So I'm trusting God that as we lift him up today, those whose hearts are heavy, that weight will be lifted. I'm trusting God that as we lift his name up, those who are not well in their bodies, he is your healer today. And for everybody that's, that has problems waiting at home and you left and you thought, well, I'm, I'm going back to the same situation. I'm trusting God that there'll be a turnaround in your life. Because he's able and he is faithful and he loves you. So let, let's then declare our love for him. I don't know if you're going to help me just with the mic and just pick it up a bit more. But let's declare our love for him. Just tell him how much we love him, how much we adore him. Let's lay our lives before him. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We lay our lives before your throne. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We lay our lives before your throne. There's none besides you, Lord. No other God but you. We lay our lives before. Say there's none besides you, Lord. No, no, no. None beside no other God, no other God. We lay our lives before your throne, before your throne. Raise your voices. Say, yes, we love you, Jesus. I'm the same. We love you, Lord. We adore you. We lay
there is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, like you, God. I could search all over, all over, but there is none like you.
We sing Hosanna to Jehovah. You are the air. You are the air that I breathe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In you I live and move and have. Hosanna to the most I God. To Jehovah. You are. You are the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are living, move. You are living, move now. Hosanna. To Jehovah. Yeah. 
moment. You came to be reminded that he is El Shaddai. He's more than enough. He's the all-sufficient one. Come on, right now I need you to begin to press in on the promises of God. Come on, Zion. Let's raise up a sound of worship. Let's raise up a sound of praise. You ought to be too quiet for my liking. Come on, come on, come on. Proclaim his greatness. Proclaim his goodness in this place. Hold on Grab the hand of your neighbor. 
grab the hand of your neighbor just briefly grab the hold of your neighbor and just begin to proclaim destiny proclaim the promises of God come and open up your mouth don't be stingy with a prayer you are more than enough for God you are more than enough God is in the neighborhood. God is in the neighborhood. God is in the neighborhood. He is in here with power. He is in here with victory. Hallelujah. To him who is holy and true. He holds the key of David. What he holds.
Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Promise still stands. tell you this church there's nothing that God has ever done that is not able to do again whatever he has done was not a lucky shot whatever he has done is a prophetic word for you I really just sense we just need to just you know pressing against the spirit of stagnation there's some of you there's been no movement things have been stuck if you know on your part this is not a word that is applicable you might know someone who needs this prayer can we just take three minutes and just pray against the spirit of stagnation in this place come on just three minutes three minutes in the name of jesus christ whatever it is that has been stuck we speak movement. We speak movement. We pray against the spirit of stagnation. Father God, we pray, oh God, against the spirit of stagnation. That Lord, even in this atmosphere, in this atmosphere, Oh God, we thank you that people are going to come out with testimonies. People are going to come out with testimonies in this place. There has to be a move. There has to be a move. Nothing will die in my presence. Nothing will die in my presence. Right now we declare that there's movement of oh God. There will be a flow where there's been stagnation. We speak a flow. Your word says, oh God, out of your penny shall flow streams of living water.
you know, I was just reflecting as we celebrate six years of existence of Eternal Glory Church, and I just wrote down th six things, six things, just six reflections. And number one is start. Just start. Starting requires courage. And let me say this on this point. What you need to start, you will get when you start. So start. Number two, continue. And this speaks of the necessity for consistency and commitment. What I found is that you need faith to start, but you need faithfulness to continue. Continuing is what separates those who are curious from those who are committed. Number three, rely on the blessing. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. It was Paul who said, I planted, Apollos watered, but it is God who granted the increase. Number four, Make room for the goodness of God. And Sako shared in the morning something that I always share that whenever the future scares you, you've imagined a day where God will not be good. Number five, the power of suddenlies. The power of suddenlies. Churches grow in moments. Businesses grow in moments. And how we steward those moments is what turns moments into momentum. And then lastly, the necessity for community. And the idea is this, as John Maxwell says, one is too, num is too small a number to achieve greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just here today to just thank God for what he has done. And in such moments, it's where you have to just pause and just thank God. I remember a day where it was my wife and I at church. And my wife was the one doing sound. But I preached because I could see you guys. We, we're not where we want to be. But we don't just celebrate perfection. We celebrate progress. So we are so grateful to God for allowing us to be here. And in this moment, the whole idea was just to say thank you to God. Thank you. Thank you. We may stand up on our feet. In fact, just let me honor some men of God and then we'll stand up on our feet and just close. Amen. We've got Pastor Naiboshang. Pastor Naibu, can you please stand up? We just want to appreciate you. Here's Pastor Naiboshang all the way from Devon. Got a dear friend of mine here, Pastor Koketso. He's no stranger in this house. Can we appreciate Pastor Koketso Mlaole? We have someone who's also not a stranger here, our sister, Nomti. Let's give it up for Nomti. And she's not traveling alone. Uh, Dr. Malulek, thank you so much. It's good to have you in the house. Amen. Here's another couple that is very close to my heart. I remember when there was a time where I was contemplating starting EGC. And they sat down with me. They said, man, why don't you just write down the vision? And we're just planning what God was going to do. So thank you so much. You, you are people of my journey. Praise the Lord. To all the men of God that are here, if I forget you, it doesn't mean I don't take you seriously. I love you. You guys are awesome. Amen. Now, I think the last person, I just need to obviously thank God, thank my parents. Um, <laughs> I want to thank my wife. All right? I 
I can't do sound, she can. And she can play a bit of the piano. I recently found that out in marriage, which was quite scary. I didn't know. In the Damas, amen. <laughs> but thank you so much, baby, for standing with me. It's not been an easy journey. Uh, and it's been such a blessing to do this with you. You know how they say, Sugumam Gambagbon? Let's switch it. Sugumam Bonum Gam. Let's stand up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you may be seated. Do we have any space in the foyer? We do. Do we have any first time visitors today? First time visitors, please raise your hand. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. We want to appreciate and love on you. Whoa! You thought you were just visiting. Please stand up. We're almost done, right? You thought you were visiting, and here we are. We both caught feelings. And now you found a new church. Can we just appreciate our first time visitors? If you've got an iPhone with you, you can just scan the QR code. I'm kidding. We, are, we accept all phones. Amen. So just scan the QR code. We'll just ask you. It's going to take you to a place where we'll ask you a few questions. And then, of course, if you say, these are my type of people, there's what we call the EGC portal. You can scan that as well. It will take you to one of the greatest communities you ever come across. We don't talk about football. Like, it's like as if Kaiser Chiefs does not exist. Amen. Like, we don't make fun of any team in the presence of the Lord. So this is what we're going to do. First time visitors, just take up your belongings and make your way to the foyer. EGC, let's appreciate them as they make their way out. Come on. Awesome. Come on, let's just sustain it as they walk out. Let's sustain it. Praise the Lord. Just a reminder that we are fasting this coming week, starting on a Wednesday, and we're finishing off on Friday. Praise the Lord. Sorry, I need to hijack this moment. Uh, without this man's yes, there's no EGC. And my friend, I want to honor you. I want to thank God for you saying yes. You see, in, in, in every circumstance, there's always a prototype. Someone who comes and gives others the permission and the right to do stuff. And you came and walked in something in us as black leaders, as black young pastors in our nation. You said to us, guys, it's possible. You said to us, guys, we can do it. And the excellence at which you have done it. How we have seen you love your wife. How you have seen you stand as a man of integrity. How we have seen your faith. Man, before COVID, you were there, that obscure place there. <laughs> and, and look at what God has done. Look at what God has done. It was your faith, your courage, and your obedience upon which God built. And I honor you, my friend. I honor you, Mfundis. Let me not call him my friend. I honor you, Mfundis. Yeah. <laughs> I honor you, and uh, thank you for saying yes. And may God richly bless you. Can I just ask that we stretch our hands towards him? Dr. Spear, if you can come as well. Uh, sorry, sorry to, to, to just hijack if you can just stretch. Um, this is the beginning and where you're going, you're going to need strength. You're going to need a lot of faith. And lots of money. And if you can just stretch our hands for that God will give them courage, strength, faith, and partners that will come and just soar into this house father we thank you for them give our family thank you for calling them thank you heavenly father for calling them into this marvelous work 
we thank you heavenly father for their response we want to thank you heavenly father for them saying yes to you heavenly father may you respond to their yes with great favor heavenly father may in this next season may you give them great courage creativity may you bring the right people around them father god who are able to carry the size of the vision that you have put in their hearts heavenly father may you bring around them people who have father god the strength and the shoulders to carry what you put in their hearts heavenly father may they lack nothing in the building of your temple heavenly father the same way moses lacked nothing heavenly father we declare and decree they will lack nothing in the building of your temple heavenly father it will stand fortified heavenly father it will be a lighthouse not only in Joburg, heavenly father but towards the ends of the world heavenly father the church will have an impact heavenly father through their lives you will do great things heavenly father and we stand here as witnesses saying do it in their lives do it in our generation heavenly father do it in their lives do it in our generation heavenly father we want to witness the weak the bigness of god the greatest of god through them in jesus mighty name continue to encourage them continue to strengthen them and continue to use them in your mighty way and heavenly father we stand in faith and say they will lack nothing we stand in faith heavenly father and say they will lack nothing this work will refresh them in the name of jesus it will not be burdensome on them it will be refreshing upon them heavenly father their marriage will be refreshed as a result of this work heavenly father their family will be refreshed as a result of this work. continue heavenly father to show your, your favor upon them in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed and the church of God said, Amen. Amen. We may stand up on our feet. We've come to the end of our programming. Can we appreciate all the serving teams? Can we appreciate the parking team? Can we appreciate the ushers? Can we appreciate the media team? And then lastly, can we appreciate the worship team? And of course, we don't want to close today without appreciating the, the gift. And you know, doc, Dr. Tumi is a mantle, for lack of a better word. And we believe that in you stepping on the stage, something, there's a residue of grace, of favor, and just like you, how you have impacted the globe, we want to tap into the same anointing. Thank you so much, man of God, for coming through. We truly really appreciate you. Can we appreciate Dr. Tumi one more time? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, Bangwele, here's how it's going to work, right? We'll have an exit plan. Somebody say exit plan. So, there is a way in which we're going to leave this complex. There are so many cars, Bangwele. So many. It's beautiful. God is doing an amazing work in your lives. Amen. So I'm just going to call upon Shezi to just give us an instruction in terms of how we exit this place. Amen. Amen, Mazarani. Amen. So the exit plan is just going to be like this, right? You'll be patient with us. We're going to start with the people that are standing so that they can exit. And then we'll exit by sections. So starting from that section dealing with this section and then just ending in that section. So just please be patient with us and also please cooperate with the ushers and the parking team. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. A reminder, we are fasting this week starting on Wednesday. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for being a good father. May we have a great week, a week that does not have we regret to inform you. Yeah. A week that doesn't have uh, messages that say we need to talk. That one person, Lord, who has been having a monologue in a sister's DMs. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Wow. May this week they get a reply. <laughs> Father, this week we won't run away from private numbers. Because we're expecting calls. 
from interviews we had last year. Father, what was frozen is released right now. And Father, it's going to be the best week of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah! Amen.